Well, the death toll is at 69 tonight and expected to go up after this weekend's devastating volcanic eruption in Guatemala, leaving fields of boiling ash. A Sacramento woman witnessed the blast. And tonight, CBS 13's Macy Jenkins spoke with her as she works to get money and supplies to the area. Macy. Well, Christina and Curtis, she says it's typical to see ash in the area being so close to an active volcano, but once the, death, the dust settled, she realized the magnitude of what had happened. A massive volcano eruption near Guatemala City sent hot molten lava spewing into the air and cascading into nearby villages. <laughs> People on the ground scrambling to escape Sunday afternoon. And just 10 miles away, Sacramento native Chelsea Glass was in a business meeting with her employees. We saw that ash was just falling from the sky. And then we went outside and saw that our cars were covered in ash. Glass runs her own travel company and splits her time between Sacramento and the city of Antigua, next door to one of Central America's most active volcanoes, Volcán de Fuego. Everybody knew that something was really, really wrong. That this was an eruption bigger than we've seen in a long time. Firefighters desperately searching for residents trapped under the rubble and ash. More than 60 people have died, but only 13 identified. Lava gushing from the volcano reached temperatures as high as 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit, disfiguring many of the bodies caught in its path. It wasn't until last night, really, that it set in exactly what was going on and what needed to be done. Glass says her business is on hold while she turns her attention to the hundreds who were injured. The biggest thing people need right now are medical supplies, creams, um, ointments to cure infections. And she's looking to friends, family, and businesses in Northern California to support the country she's grown to love. For me, if people from my hometown would be willing to donate, it would mean the world to me. Um, Guatemala is the only other place that's ever felt like home the way Sacramento does. It's a Last night, Glass says she created a GoFundMe page and has already raised $5,000 for supplies. She is focused on getting now 200 headlamps for firefighters who are still looking for survivors. Okay, Macy, thank you. And now